Greetings streamers, today we're going to show you how to install third-party apps on all of your Amazon Fire TV and Fire Stick devices, but before, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon to get notifications and give us a like if you do enjoy this video. Now, a lot of people ask us how do you install third-party apps on your Amazon Fire TV or Fire Stick, and it's very simple, but before we want to show you the entire process, so please pay a lot of attention. We're going to look for most of the apps that you might find on the Amazon uh, Fire App Store and you will notice that it usually does has a lot of content but from time to time you will try to search for an app that it's not available there. Now what does that mean? It means that you cannot install it directly from the Amazon App Store but there's another way to install those apps and it's thanks to the files that do have an APK extension. Now the APK extension means that it's Android package and it works with your Fire Stick because Remember that the Amazon Fire devices have an OS or operating system that is Android based. So for instance, if you look for an app like PureFlix, you can install it directly from the App Store or even Popcorn Flix just by clicking the OK button and it will download. But again, if you're trying to install a app that is not available here, you're going to be frustrated. It's very simple. You can see that we only click the OK button and we will download the file, but again, if you want to find or install an app that it's not available there, you might have some issues and we're going to show you how to do that. So we do need to enable some settings here in our Fire device and also we need to download the downloader app, which is very important. But before, let's go and show you the settings that you must enable. So let's go to the My Fire TV <clears throat> and here it says Developer Options, you click OK and you need to enable both ADB debugging and apps from known sources because remember if the app is not available on the app store and you try to install an APK file uh, if it's not enabled the system will not allow you to install it basically because it will assume that it's either a virus or it's an unauthorized application so you do need to enable these settings now remember that it's very important now we're going to use the downloader app which luckily you can find in the official Amazon App Store and you can download it directly with no issues at all. Make sure that you download the latest version, it's very important. And we're going to download it, but we already have it, so we're going just to show you that it's very simple and easy to use. Now, when we do access to the downloader, pay a lot of attention to the, the steps that we will be showing on the screen. So, we're going to access the downloader app, which we already have, and if you don't, you can download it. And we're going to use the browser extension. So let's hit OK. And just hit OK. It's just telling us that we can actually type in a direct URL. So there's two ways. You can type either the link of the APK file, APK file I'm sorry, to download it directly, or you can use the browser. Some sites do have, for instance, uh, the APKs installed in the browsers or in their website, so you will use the browser to go through the website and download the APK. You just use the controller for scrolling up and down, and when you hit any uh, typing uh, option, when you click OK, it will enable a virtual screen uh, uh, keyboard for you to type in the words that you're looking for. So we're going to clear them, and we're going to type a specific website, just to see if we can download, for instance, um, any APK or Google and let's hit the OK button once we're done and you will notice that it will actually open a browser and here you can type in whatever APK or third-party app you're looking for that is not available on the official app store we will have to blurry the image of the APK that we installed in order to avoid any copyright issues we got a a call of attention from YouTube because they don't want us to be showing you some of the websites or the links because they believe that some of the apps might not be authorized at all or might be considered uh, copyright infringing apps so we cannot show them to you but again if you're looking for an app it's very simple you just type in the direct link to download the AP APK or type in the, li the link to the website that has the APK and you can browse through the website and download the APK now, remember that you have to be very careful when you're downloading third-party apps because you need to be very sure that the app is Android TV enabled or it has been tested on any Android TV. 
It's not the same when you download an APK that it's only available for Android devices because Android TV doesn't work the same way as Android devices and you might end up corrupting your Amazon Fire Stick or your Fire TV operating system and it will be a very bad situation. So always double check that you have the latest version of the Amazon OS and also make sure that it is compatible with the APK that you will be installing for the third party app. You don't want to damage your Amazon Fire Stick. So remember this please and if you do so, and you follow this video, it's at your own risk. We're not responsible for any damages that occur on your devices if you're not following the instructions or doing something else. So it's up to you. This is free of responsibility for us. So if you're watching this video, you're accepting it and you're following the procedures at your own risk. So again, we're typing an address that we know has the link to the APK that we want to install and we will download it and show you how it runs very easily. <clears throat> so we wait a few seconds. Once we finish typing in the address and we will download the APK. And as you can see, it's already connecting and it's downloading the APK. Once it finished downloaded, we will install it, but we will also bury the image because again, for copyright issues, we cannot show you what we're doing. Uh, we don't want more trouble with Amazon, or I'm sorry, with uh, YouTube, because they don't like us to show any this type of stuff. But again, you're doing it at your own risk. So let's wait for it to download entirely. And once it is downloaded, uh, please remember to delete the install file because if you do not delete it, you will be actually occupying some of the storage space on your Fire Stick or Fire device, which is very limited. So make sure that once you install the app, you delete the file. That's very important. A lot of people do not delete them and they actually run out of space very quickly on their Amazon Fire devices. So once it's done, we have to bury it so you do not see it. So just hit next and all the way down there, install. And when you hit install, it will be running in the background, installing all of the services that it requires. And once it is done, it will pop up a screen telling you what you do want to do with the APK file. Do you want to delete it? And you hit yes, you want to delete it. Because once you already installed it, there's no need to keep the downloaded file. So let's wait a few more seconds. Once it's done, it will let us know. It's installing. You should find something in the middle of the screen once it's finished, which we hope it will be soon. And when it is done, I will show you how to delete the file. And this is very important. As you can see, we just hit the done because it told us already that it installed the app. Don't hit the open, hit done. And now it's asking us whether we want to delete it. Hit delete, do not hit done in this occasion. Delete the file and that will be all. You just save some space on your Fire TV or Fire Stick. So this is how you install third party apps. Again, you're doing it on your own risk Remember to verify the OS and if the app that you're downloaded is Android compatible, Android TV specifically compatible, because otherwise you might have some issues with it running on the device. Again, don't forget to enable these settings here for instance, the downloaded folder and also the JavaScript so that some of the websites can run better on your browser on this downloader app. Thanks for watching. Again, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon to get notifications and give us a like. Goodbye.